Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's episode of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to hang with me a little bit and watch the video. Always uh, very grateful for that. And guys, today I'm gonna show you and talk about and show you guys how to fish what I consider the number one summertime lure to get a lot of fish on. If you want, if you want to throw a bait that's gonna get you a lot of bites and catch you a lot of fish in the right situations, this deal I'm gonna show you today, I don't know of any other lure out there that's better as long as you have a lake that has like over three foot of visibility on it. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. Um, also guys, a quick reminder, you may have seen that video I did yesterday, but our Fish the Moment lake map breakdowns are, are back up on the fishthemoment.com website. Um, a lot of you guys that have been off the channel, you understand, you know what the deal is with this. But I, fishthemoment.com, uh, run by Johnny Schultz, is one of the, he's one of the top deep water anglers out there. He's got a great YouTube channel and he's got a website called fishthemoment.com. And I build lake map breakdowns for fishthemoment.com. And they're up on the website again. They were discontinued for a while, but we made some modifications and they're back up there. And these breakdowns, um, they give you 40 GPS waypoints to begin your search at. You can download them straight to your fish finder. And also I give tips and advice on how to fish each lure, each particular waypoint with the best lures. We got them for four months out of the year, all different seasons of the year, lakes all over the country. Great way to learn more about your favorite lake, to find some new spots on it. And it's a really good tool if you've never been to a lake. If you order one of the breakdowns, it gives you some spots to go to right off the bat. So I'll put the my lake map breakdown link in the description of this video. Much appreciated there. Okay guys, this is, if you, all you guys that watch the channel a lot, this is no surprise to you. We've talked about this bait before, but we haven't specifically talked about it for my favorite way to fish it, which is the summertime. Um, how to fish it, and that's the Mega Bass 3 inch dark sleeper. Um, there's three different sizes to this. There's the 2.4 inch, there's the, uh, this one's the 3 inch, and they have a three and a half. The three inch side is my favorite uh, for the summertime. And I wanna talk a little bit about the bait first before I get into how to fish it, because it's sort of unique. And also guys, I'll, I'll put the link in my Tackle Warehouse description if you guys wanna order some of the dark sleepers here. Um, just, you know, there's a bunch of different colors out there. You can get a bunch of different sizes, but I'll put the link in the description. Now the dark sleeper guys, what it has, it has a keel weight in the bottom. This is what makes it unique. And even though it looks like a swim bait, you, you don't fish it like a swim bait. You fish it like a Texas rig worm or a jig. And there's one way to work the bait that generates all the strikes that we'll get into, but it's got this flat keel guard that makes it stand up on the bottom like that. And then you've got your hook buried in the, uh, the dorsal fin comes out right, I mean the peck, uh, dorsal fin, yeah. Little sharp two-aught hook in there. One thing that I would uh, suggest in there, guys, is, you, is I lo you'll lose some fish if you fish it like this. I like to take a little a pair of needle nose pliers and bend that hook out about a sixteenth of an inch. It seems like you hook a lot more fish with it. Um, and like I said, color variations just depend on the water clarity. So there's, there's two elements about fishing the dark sleeper in the summertime that will ge generate a ton of strikes for you guys. I, like I said in the video, I don't think there's another lure that I can con consistently go out and catch 20 to 50 bass a day on like I can this thing if you work it right. So the way that you want to do it um, is you've got to snap it. And what I mean by this is I'll make the cast with the dark sleeper out there. I'll let it go to the bottom. And then, you know, after I make the cast like that, I keep my rod in my right hand, bait cast rod. And also guys, the best setup is that is you wanna use a seven foot medium heavy action. You need a fast tip on it in order to get the snap on it. I use that Mega Bass Perfect Pitch. Again, I'll link all this stuff in the description. 10 pound test, Seaguar and Vizex line. I've experimented with a lot of different type of line and the 10 pound test is what I want with it. And then what you do is once it hits the bottom, put it in your right hand and snap it like that, go boom, boom. And this thing, what happens is it jerks up off the bottom and then slowly works back down, jerks up off the bottom, slowly works back down. That jerking and ripping is the whole key to getting strikes on it. If you throw it out there, you try to just work it like a jig like that, or you try to reel it in like a swim bait, you might catch one once in a while, but you're not gonna catch many as you will when you, they snap it. Now, one of the reasons I think this is, is bass in the summertime of the year, even though it's warm and you think that they're warm-blooded creatures and they should be more aggressive, a lot of times they're very inactive in the summertime and you have to do something to create a reaction strike. So let's say, for example, you're fishing a main lake point, which we'll talk about here in a second a little bit more, and the uh, dark sleeper sitting on the bottom like that and you're just working it along slowly like a jig or dragging it, those fish will come down and they'll study this thing and they'll look at it. 
and the mood and the personality of the fish in summer, since they're not aggressive, they may study this thing and look at it from different angles and never bite it. But when you set it on the bottom and then you rip it off off the bottom like that and let it set back down, it immediately triggers some type of a reaction reflex in the fish. And when you, when you rip it off the bottom hard in that hot water, they don't have any time to think about it. They either have to, to react to it and get it, or it could be gone from them, and they may ne never get it again. It's sort of like a, playing, a cat playing with a toy. So ripping it off the bottom like that is, is key to triggering that reaction strike. And what happens is when the, the strike will occur two different ways on this bait. It's like when you rip it off the bottom like that, when you rip it and it gets to the top of the rip, the fish will be there and you can just set the hook and start reeling them in. Or the other way is when you rip it off the bottom like that and watch your line fall back down, you'll just see your line tick and they inhale it as the thing's falling back down. <clears throat> I have found in my own fishing with the thing is that the bass are really aggressive, unusually aggressive which they're usually not, they will hit it as it's falling back down. But if they're not aggressive, which they normally aren't, you get more of them when you're popping it off the bottom hard like that. So the, the way that you work the lure, super critical to generating a strike. Now, just as critical with that, as far as the summer application to it, is having the right areas to fish it in. When I'm fishing the dark sleeper guys in the summertime, I, you know, we've talked about different ways to fish it in other times of year. It's all about flat points. Um, this technique is going to work the best. If you gave me the ideal scenario, say, Randy, what's the best situation? It would be give me a lake that has over four foot of water clarity, a lake that has some degree of mixed species, like maybe it can be primarily largemouth, but it helps if you have a few spotted bass or smallmouth in it, and hot water. And you've got those combination of factors with that clear water and that mixed species and those flat banks, it can, it can be clay points, it can be gravelly points, but you need some type of a flat point where you may be 50 to 100 yards out off the bank and you're sitting in 10, 12, 15 feet of water. And I usually get out on those flat points, guys, and I'll just fan cast everywhere. I mean, one of the things I found out about the, the uh, dark sleeper is that even in clear water, it will trigger those fish to bite on those points that are shallower than what you think they would be because Say for example, down at Table Rock Lake, you know, the water visibility may be eight or 10, 10 foot clear. And you're gonna think, well, I'm gonna catch a bunch of fish in 20 or 30 foot of water. I've caught a bunch of fish in the middle of the summer, ripping that thing off of points in less than 10 foot of water. So I fan cast everywhere. You don't have to be on a break. So it's not like you have to be out there on the point where there's structure or a drop off. On a flat point like that, there's always bass that are roaming that, those flats out there, looking for crawdads or whatever, especially if you have a mixed species. So I usually start about 100 yards, maybe 50 to 100 yards, you know, before I get to the, the actual point. I'll work the point and come around the back side. I'm fishing the point ends and sides, and they can be anywhere. I may make a cast into five foot of water, rip it off there. I may turn the boat around and cast out in 30 foot of water and rip it out there. I just fan cast all over that point. And with uh, the heavier model, because this, this is a three quarter ounce right here, they make them down to a quarter of an ounce, but this is a three quarter. You can cover a lot of deep water uh, in a hurry with this. So anyway, guys, it's just one of my favorite ways to catch them in the summer. Again, I'll link all these to my Tackle Warehouse link in the description. If, if there's two different ones I would suggest. Number one, I would suggest the three inch model. My favorite color is called the Haze that they make. Um, and then also, if you have a lake that's really clear and you have a lot of spot, spotted bass in it, so say for you guys, a lot of you guys that fish like Lake Oroville in California or Lake Lanier in Georgia, the little 2.4 inch size is a really good uh, deal for that. And also um, on the smaller size, I'll fish it like on a spinning rod with six pound line, but on the three inch, I'm using the 10 pound line with the bait caster. But anyway, guys, give it a try. Bank of Bass Dark Sleeper, um, no, my number one bait for catching large numbers of fish in it. I, I haven't caught many big ones on it. I mean, I've caught them up to four pounds on it, but it's one of the best lures that I've ever fished in the summertime for catching like those pound and three quarter to two and a half pound fish. So hope it helps out. We'll talk later.